What is up YouTube? Back with another vlog today. Uh, just wrapped up a couple little things I need to get out the door. I uh, had one license plate order, so I just decided to make two up while I was doing the batch. So, got those fully welded. Now they're just um, cooling down. Also, did a nice little tractor welcome piece. That will be for sale. It's drying right now with some clear coat on it. I uh, have some keychain orders I'm going to fill out and ship this morning. And the new tool should be arriving today. It's getting here really fast. So if it arrives today, you might be able to see it in this vlog. So wait for that. Uh, also, I think I'm going to try to remove a couple little things in the engine bay of the blue truck because I really want to cut out a little bit of the inner tubs and go a little bit lower in the front. So we'll see if that happens or not. Oh, I just want to go lower in the front. So that's the start of the day. Let's kick it off. I totally just forgot to film the whole process of getting this stuff. I was totally going to and totally crossed out the window. Anyways, what I just did, went with my dad we went to Harbor Freight, picked up a air hydraulic jack to swap with the um, the press. So no more hand cranking it millimeters at a time. Air jack that shit real quick. Uh, that should be a hint towards the machine we just got, or the tool, and it's actually here. It just got here. Anyways, also went. How to pick up swap bottles because the other one was pretty much empty so we went down to the bottle store got a nice fresh one full so plenty more welding to do with that thing it reminds me i should check wire we're getting fairly low but i think we have a whole yep we got a whole nother 10 pound roll in there Woo! okay getting stuff done more to come. So we also got some Amazon packages. But here's our box. Right there. By Swag Off Road. This came from Bend, Oregon. So got here really quick. Which is super sweet. Oh, it's a big heavy box. Let's get some stuff open. Here it is. The Swag Off Road finger break what's a finger break you ask it can bend metal i know sounds really crazy right just did a couple little tests just on the manual one uh, we'll get the air one up and running and start doing some some testing and getting some parts designed with bends in them um <clears throat> this finger break supposedly can bend up to like five eighths of an inch at like three inches wide um, but we're never really going to touch anything over quarter inch. Uh, according to this, it can do 15 inches wide at quarter inch, and then 3 sixteenths or less can do full 19 inches wide. Now what a finger break is, is there's little fingers. So we got a one, two, three, four, and eight inch finger, I believe. Or I don't know what that one is. Um, basically, this allows you to bend more complex parts. So, like, let's just say a box. Um, with one solid piece, your tabs would hit into the bender. Now, you can remove this finger and then bend your tab in. So, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this guy. Just need to get the air mounted up. We'll start dialing it in and get some sweet parts popping with this bad boy and this bad boy. And these are the three amigos right here. Got our cutter, got our bender, got our welder. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Anyways, stay tuned for the air to get hooked up. So it is another day. Didn't have enough content to release a vlog. So we're gonna add on to this day. And what are we doing on this fine Saturday morning? Well, make sure it stays in here. 
desperate times call for desperate measures. We are going to clearance the inner fenders on the blue truck. And possibly go, well I want to go lower, so we'll go, we're going to clearance the fenders and go lower. So, got a trusty wagon with all our shit in it. The truck's out here in the road driveway with some blocks. Got the wheels taken off, hood up, checking where we're gonna do everything, but I got the washer fluid bottle out and the charcoal canister out. Pull the vacuum lines, pull the ear intake, so this side should be pretty easy. Um, that side I'll just have to make sure I don't hit any of the electrical stuff. Shouldn't be too bad either though. Um, basically what I'm doing, I'm just looking where I'm rubbing basically. So, I'm going to branch out as far as I can. I think I can go about this far. And then I'll branch out over here, about this far. And then arc a cut off there. I hammer this guy in a little bit. And then we'll check for clearance. Cutting a um, Nissan for the front windshield on some white sticker vinyl. All right. Yep, I'm a super nerd now. Got the Nissan logo all mapped out and on the windshield. Looks pretty boss in my opinion. I like it. Truck's a little lower. Tubs are. Or, there's no tubs, but clearance. What's all the stuff up above? Huh? What's that stuff? That's gonna say desert scraper. Oh. It's just uh, cutting out, you know, certain parts. Just had a nice little session on the plaz. Got a custom lowrider inspired plaque for a customer. It says Desert Scraping, Mesa, Arizona. So did that for a custom order. If you guys want a custom order, send me an email, blazingcustoms at hotmail.com. Put a little plug in there. Uh, anyways, this is quarter inch steel. That was his design. Tweaked a little bit, got it as a uh, nice little plaque. Also, got, f well one was an old one, but four new key chains, truck chains for you guys. We got the Datsun 521. Got the Chevy OBS. We had the NBS, now we have the OBS. Got a Datsun slash Nissan 720. And lastly, we got a Toyota Tacoma. So those will be on my website. Check the eBay link below. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap up today's vlog. I'm gonna give you a look at the tool in action that I got today. Next vlog. So stay tuned for next vlog to see it in action, get some parts made on it. But I wanna thank you guys as always. Thank you for watching. Keep on trucking. Peace.